so I, I'm continuing on because um, it started a new video. So they they treated me like this because I'm black, but if I was another race, then um, if I was another race, then I wouldn't. Be, I mean. I don't, I don't think I would get treated this dirty. And then black Americans do their own kind the dirtiest. But other races of people, they're loyal towards each other. You, you know, like other races of pe people, they stick together. But I say all the time that it seems like Blacks hate their own kind and other races of people hate us and look down on us and see us as animals and stuff for, for the way that blacks, you know, our race of people, it's always something with us. <clears throat> I mean, and especially if a black person commits a crime, you know, people always, you know, make these memes and jokes talking about um they make memes and jokes talking about well um you know black lives matter right or where's black lives matter when you need a, when you see um a youtube video of a black teen committing a crime and then you know getting arrested for it and then people in the comments get all political and then talk about, they make jokes and memes talking about Black Lives Matter and talking about Black privilege and stuff like that. Stuff that they hide behind their phones and computers or tablets or whatever and that they wouldn't tell, that, that they wouldn't tell people to their face. So, some of the videos that I do, like, I didn't realize this video, I didn't know at what point this video was going to split into two. But some people, like one of the previous, within the past week, I did a video that split into another. And um, most people didn't bother to watch the second, the second part, which was only about five minutes longer. You know, it's just a continuation of the first. But my enemies, the obsessed perp, they would stalk and watch everything I have to say. They would stalk and watch everything. You know, <clears throat> and, 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 and it's like, and then the same thing, you would think that females would sympathize with each other being the same gender, but even other females are cold and don't care about another female suffering on the streets. And then it's mainly the narcissistic females, the first to tell you that you deserve to get raped or sexually assaulted, or they do victim blaming and victim shaming. It's mainly other females who harden their hearts and, and then try to make like, and then they try to make like, you know, they act, make like they, as if they know all the details about what happened when they weren't even there. Like they can just guess and fill in the blanks and they're, and they're totally wrong. And then that's why a lot of people are silent about being raped, sexually assaulted, or, you know, ha something happening to them. So, I mean, I'm just kind of restless and bored right now, and I'm tired of random vehicles just passing by, startling me with loud bass. And I know that's part of the noise campaigns and noise harassment <clears throat> and stuff like that. But before I go, I want people to hear this. I want to make sure that before I, Candy Grand Prix, before I exit this earth, um, I would like for people to 
realize that I'm sincere, that I'm telling the truth, that I'm a real targeted individual, I'm not a fake, I'm not a perp, and um, that I'm a real targeted individual and that um, you, you know, and that my testimony is real. And what I, whatever I show and say is real and true. So, um, I even point out gang stalking tactics like the one headlight or people having their arm hanging out of the window or wearing um, certain colors or doing the hand signals or um, cheating me out of my food or you know, or if I try to talk about them vibrating my organs or keeping me sleep deprived, it's just a daily diary, um, a daily diary of what I got to go through, and people just shun me saying, oh, you just tell all your business, and these perps, they, they know what gang stalking is, and then they just try to gaslight and play sight games and pretend to play innocent. They try to play innocent and they try to play ignorant. They know very well what gang stalking is and just try to front like they don't. So, um, yeah, I mean, my ears are ringing and hurting because of all this loud bass noise, loud music, noise harassment and stuff. And so, um, I'm keep on screaming from the rooftops, trying to fight for my rights to make my voice heard as a real targeted individual who's you, you know, y'all would rather defend, believe, and agree with the enemy than the one who's really suffering. The, the innocent, I'm the true innocent one. And, and so, um, I'm the outcast of outcasts. You know, I mean, even on Twitter, I noticed that over 95% of my tweets are totally ignored and maybe five of them get noticed. And if, and, and people, they pretend to fake like my tweets and they don't even retweet. But then somebody's response to my tweet be like, yeah, yeah, it does, or something like that. That gets way more likes and retweets than my tweet that will say something elaborate and detailed and ju just get one like. And then everybody else, you know, the person who responds to me get way more retweets and likes for, for their responses. But, you know, I try to show my short stories or I try to, you know, ask for help to survive and just get mainly ignored. If a male, a man, were to say, well, I'm about to be homeless soon, and then he can get like 25 likes, I, I mean, I'm sorry, 25 retweets and, um, and, and like 70, 25 retweets and 70 likes, and have, like, if he have less followers than me, you know, but I mean, it, it really feels like as if I'm tweeting at nothing, but out of the 5% that people do pay attention to, they come and kind of like, even if you're supposed to be a targeted individual, also you respond with something smart ass and in a way where, you know, where where it sounds like you're disgusted with me and hate me and don't and frustrated with me and don't like me 
And I wonder, well, if you if you respond to my tweets like this, then why why are we following each other? Like, as if you want to try to make me shut up about my target, shut up and ignore, while you talk about all the technical, complicated stuff for other professed targets, and and you profess to be a Christian target while you shake hands with the professed targeted individuals who try to say that, you know, that God is a tranny or something like that, or that Jesus was a tranny, or that Jesus is Baphomet or something, and, and you profess to be Christian and you don't even rebuke those people for saying that, but you'd rather get disgusted with me, or, or you hardcore supportive of somebody who promotes a new age. But then you're the same one who told me, you better focus on Jesus. And so, I mean, I, I mean, and that's always, even on Facebook in 2010, I had very little support and even all, they all turned against me and I was being like pretty much ignored. Or even in 2010 and 2011 on Twitter, I would be like ignored. Even in 2012, I was like ignored all the time. And um but people would if they the little bit that they do pay attention to <clears throat> they go and um you know, they got something angry and rude and smart ass to say. I mean, it seems like a lot of people on Twitter are fake. You know, but then again, social media, period, almost everybody is fake. And, and you know, fakes support the fakes. And you're not going to say that that fake witch is a beggar and a scammer and a fraud. Oh, no, you'll be more than glad to give that rich per already rich person. You would rather donate them, you know, or buy me a coffee or Kofi, you'd be more than glad, you know, if if they would um say something sick, like um, you know, like the ebook, I mean the book or whatever that I saw somebody post the other day, talking about the gospel of witchcraft. Oh yeah, that's the stuff that y'all will buy. Y'all will, you know, buy the that those um. Ebooks like that, y'all will buy them off the, sh you know, have them flying off, off the shelves, off the electronic shelves. <clears throat> but a harmless short story, like Horace the Bird Watcher, y'all got a way to condemn that. Y you know. So and then it's the same thing that the. The main people want to talk about doing videos saying that they're Christians and say that, well, you you, you shall be betrayed by many. And then you'll be the first to betray me and start to, um, to side with the perps and Freemasons and stuff like that. So I know I had a lot to say this morning and just rambling on. My anxiety is high. I'm sleep deprived. I can't sleep. And... I'm just going to feel like shit all day. And um, I'm going to try to make myself have the strength to go take a bath. I mean, this self-care because of me being depressed. You know, depressed and feeling down. Because of feeling like everything I do or say is just wrong. And, and a whole bunch of people in society just giving me the vicious hate, anger look. And so I'm just feeling so depressed trying to figure out if I'm such a horrible person, what am I doing wrong? And why am I not in jail or prison if I just, you, you know, a nuisance to society? So, um... I guess it'll be in a previous video since this one, the second half, 
is um split into two but the previous video i just wanted to remind y'all to look in the description box and if you want to donate if you like my short story you know that can be my way of making a living and trying to survive and stay off the streets but you don't have to if you don't want to but you know anything helps um and, and who knows i mean your contribution could possibly be enough you know if i could land that um permanent housing soon but then you know we got this russia and ukraine ukraine war and food shortages and the freedom convoys and just everything going on and I, I mean i know money will be obsolete soon but you know um i'm just trying to survive day to day you know <clears throat> so i mean they have people who are way richer than me or making money all kinds of ways and they still can ask for donations and stuff like that you know and nobody's gonna call them a scam a fraud or anything if they have like over a million subscribers on youtube and you got your cash app paypal patreon gofundme um venmo zell and you you got like a merchandise store and you know so and then they ask i mean if they if, if they, they'd be like well hit that subscribe button you know smash the likes hit the subscribe button and like comment share and subscribe and nobody says that their beggars are scamming anybody they have a permanent roof over their head they have a house and um you know and that's their way of making their living but no people want me to be a punished janitorial slave or a dishwasher slave so that they can mock and laugh at my so-called useless college degree you, you know and try to make it like i'm just a loser So, my as I said, my anxiety is like really high right now, and I, I know that the perps sit around all day and just mock and laugh at my videos, and then try to deliberately and on purpose twist what I say, pervert or twist what, whatever I say and try to make it mean something different you know so um I'm not even sleepy right now I'm really not sleepy right now so I mean let me go for now before my um let me go for for now before my um before my entire phone storage space gets taken up so I'm sorry I had like a lot of videos today, but I don't even know if I should have to apologize, you know, because I know if people look at their subscription list and then they might be like, well, I'm tired of seeing candy on my timeline so much. Why is she doing so many videos and stuff? Well, I got some people who I'm subscribed to who have like three and four channels and post like at least 10 videos a day uh, on each channel and people love and support them they don't act like as if they're sick and tired or disgusted or frustrated or anything like that you know but it's a whole different ball game with me like i said in my blog i said one video one three minute video a year is just too long and too many videos So, I mean, everybody else be like, well, other people, they be like, well, oh, man, your, your videos are too short. I wish they would be longer. I love your content. But when it comes to me, oh, you're just annoying. And you're just talking a whole bunch of nonsense or you're just crazy. But it, it nags my conscience and make me feel like a failure that 
a whole bunch of people just avoid and ignore me or just give me this punishing kind of vicious soul piercing hate anger look you know like as a society is punishing me like as a society is playing God to punish me you know so I don't have anything planned today I don't have anything planned today and um I'm too weak mentally and physically weak to go anywhere I mean out like out anywhere you know but I know people say that that we need to get out and exercise and get fresh air and sunlight and stuff like that but I'm not too lazy to walk I'm just um you know trying to stay safe and get as much peace as I could and I just don't feel like being perked you know I, I and I, I mean I'm mentally and emotionally too fragile to deal with you know all all the harassment that will come with me walking somewhere or me going somewhere so thanks for listening to me and I'll see y'all later. Love y'all.